You know, as you and I do tillage, there's always the question of why would we be doing it? There's costs related. Fuel, energy, cost the machine. And so let's talk a little bit about why, for example, in central Illinois, where we farm, we do a lot of tillage on corn on corn. So this field will be going back into corn next year. And we talk about the benefits of this 11 and a half inch pass of a ripper point. Well realizing, for those of you that are watching, that are south of Illinois, and in the Kentucky, Tennessee, and south, you're probably just about coming out of your easy chair, your office chair, saying, why would anyone do tillage? And we realize that residue can be a blessing or a curse. So from central Illinois here north, residue starts to become costly in a corn-on-corn -corn program. The microbials take time to break it down. And for those that work, they need two different, three different things. They need the right temperature, they need moisture, and they need a food source. And so for us, we'll start harvesting here right after Labor Day. And as we harvest, we'll still have 75 degree, maybe even possibly 80 degree afternoons. And so we'll come in a field as soon as the combine leaves. We'll spray some ammonia sulfate on, and we will see immediately the microbials have turned those stalks a brown and black almost within two days. 48 hours, you'll drive by that field, and you'll see the residue breaking down. And then we'll come in with this type of tillage pass after we've had chain roll in our combines where we've already chained this residue in six to seven inch lengths and we'll work it in, in this case, with the case 875. But for those of you in the south that do a lot of no-till, Mike and his team never take a break. And you can tell that because you go far enough south, you'll see a lot of red soil. What's happened, the carbon has actually been burned out of that soil. The microbials have just continued to work all year around. And so no-till corn on corn could work very effective. The residue's not in its way. One of the things we like about tillage is we like to go down to the AB horizon line. And for this field, that horizon line's about in that 10 and a half to 11 inch. So I'm running this ripper point a half inch below that. The A being our topsoil, B horizon being the next, and of course our C is a real clay looking soil. But we like to run that ripper right in there and blend that AB line so when roots come down and they get down that 11 and a half to, to 12 inches, they don't stop and turn, they migrate right on through. One of the other reasons, and you can see I'm holding this root ball, is we know what? Last year's root will leave a fossil trail. And as it decays, and we come in here in the spring of 18 and plant corn in this field, the new root likes to take the least path of resistance. No different than you and I. We like to walk on an easy path. And there's a pathological effect. And you'll a lot of times hear second year corn on corn has a negative yield drag. And that comes from the fact that this plant is stressed. It feels that pathological negative effect. So when I come in with this type of tillage, we confuse that root. We blow up all those fossil tracks. And no longer is there a place for an easy path for that to come down.